Hey guys, welcome to your no contact reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to a person that you're in no contact with. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. It could be a situation where it's the other way around. Apply this to your own unique situations. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Anyone interested in wanting to uh, book a personal reading with me? Did I say that? I think I did. Well, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Quick note, I am running a 30% sale on all my personal readings for Black Friday. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the details on how to redeem that code. Uh, it does expire on Black Friday, which is this Friday here, uh, uh, you guys. So uh, book while you can if you guys are interested. So uh, what messages do we have here for Scorpio? Over energies for Scorpio between, between the person that they are in no contact with for December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. So Scorpio, we have telepathic, random thoughts and intense feelings thought about by your twin. Notice patterns, images, or numbers in your day-to-day -day that remind you of you and your person here. Okay, so some of you guys are really telepathically connected here. Okay, it, I'm not really quite sure what led to the no contact here, but I do feel like you guys are maybe coming to a realization that you guys are a power couple. We have great source of power. The dream team of change reunion creates exponential growth. Okay, highly influential and, um, and agents of change. So I do feel like if you guys were to get back together here, there will be some sort of power change that happens here between you and your person here, Scorpio, okay? We also have, yeah, new beginnings. There's new beginnings here between you and your person, okay? Um, so I do see that some of you guys could be coming back together with this individual here once there is contact here, Scorpio, okay? What else do we have for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know? What, uh, is it a good idea for Scorpio to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with? For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. For Scorpio here. So Scorpio, we have the Ten of Wands. Wow. There's a sense of feeling very overwhelmed. You know, there's a sense of really letting go of all the burdens that you guys have experienced in this relationship. Any personal burdens that you could be carrying or the other person could be carrying here. There's a sense of releasing here. Okay. The Empress Libra Taurus energy. We have Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah powerful changes are happening. So if you guys are in no contact with your person here, I do believe that it is a good idea for you to reach out to this individual or the person that you're dealing with here to reach out to you here because there's powerful changes that's happening between you and your person here. With the Five of Swords here and the King of Swords, I do feel like the someone, someone here is trying to win you back. Some here, someone here is trying to manifest you back here. Okay, let's say if this person was not putting any, was putting in any sort of effort in the past here, this person's going to put it in some sort of effort now in the future or moving forward here between you and them. So we have, uh, so strong air energy here, um, Gemini energy, could be dealing with the Gemini here, okay? Uh, so what else do we have here for Scorpio? Tell me the Ten of Wands here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Ten of Wands and the Three of Cups, yeah, there's going to be some sort of reconciliation here. There's, uh, there's going to be a, an apology here, a, a commitment. Uh, there's going to be coming back together between you and your person here, and things are going to be different here. You know, things are going to change. You know, like I said, some of you guys, uh, you know, both of you guys could be realizing that you guys are a power couple, that you guys are meant to be with each other here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune being here, because this is like divinely guided. Uh, this is the universe here, okay? The Wheel of Fortune here and the Fool card, Aries energy. Yeah, it seems like there's going to be a new beginning. Uh, you know, some here is ready to take a huge leap of faith here with you. I do feel like, you know, whoever this person is, you know, this person definitely find you as someone here who is very attractive, you know, someone here, you know, sees you as someone who's really independent, you know, self-sufficient that could stand on their own two feet here. Uh, we have the five of swords and also the ten of swords here. I feel like this person feels bad for betraying you. 
okay? This person feels bad for playing games, for hurting you here, but like I said, I do feel like things are going to be different moving forward here, okay? We have the Magician here and also the Eight of Cups. Seems like this person walked away. And they're realizing that they walked away from a, from something really great here between you and them with the lover's card here, Gemini energy. So it does seem like this person definitely is regretting what they did here, okay? Uh, tell me about the outcome here. Outcome and advice here for Scorpio. What does a Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on? For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, Scorpio, for Scorpio. <coughs> We have the Ace of Swords here and the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Strange card, Leo Energy, the Four of Swords, and also the Hermit Virgo Energy. So um, I do believe that with the Ace of Swords here, there will be some sort of clean slate here. Any sort of confusion that you guys have experienced with this individual here, there will be clarity here with the Seven of Cups, okay? Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, you see, so uh, there is a new beginning here. There will be commitment. There will be marriage here. Things will be different than it was before. Like the bond that you guys have, you know, or will have moving forward here will be stronger than it was before, okay? So the strength card here, Leo energy, okay? The four swords here. There will be healing. There will be recovery here. You know, I feel like with the hermit card here, you know, some of you guys could be getting back on track together where you guys are both on a spiritual path of healing here, okay? So we have the uh, Hermit Virgo energy. Yeah, it seems like it, you, you, both, you both could have learned a lot from this no contact, from the separation here, all right? Tell me about the Ace of Swords here. Why is the Ace of Swords here? And we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Sun of Cups. And also we have the King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, I do believe with the Knight of Cups here and the King of Pentacles here, you know, I do believe that this person is very genuine and sincere about, you know, bringing this back together. You know, uh, whoever this is, I do feel like this person is serious. And like I said, I feel like, you know, things will never be the same again. Uh, you know, I just feel like you guys are, you know, coming back together with, the possibilities of you know growth and expansion and healing here okay uh we have the ten of pentacles here why is the ten of pentacles here ten of pentacles here and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces the strength card here the strength card here and also the devil mm. it does seem like this person's very ex uh, like obsessively attracted to you here okay with the devil card I'm going to take a look at this double card and see what's going on here. Talking about the double card here and also the lovers. Mm. This is definitely, a, uh, this is really interesting. This is coming up as a false soulmate connection or that this is a soulmate connection here, but it could be that in the past it was really toxic here and this could change here moving forward. Okay. Some of the four of swords here and we have the queen of swords and the hermit. And also the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the King, the Queen of Cups here. King to Queen of Swords here. Two pairs, you guys. It does seem like there's a union that's happening here. Tell me that this Devil and this Lovers here and the Two of Swords. Okay. And the Chariot here. If this person was dealing with other parties here, I feel like this person's giving up those other parties to be with you. If there's some sort of unhealthy attachment that this person was dealing with, um, you know, I feel like this person could be getting rid of it so that you guys could thrive here. Okay? So, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.